Hello everyone, watch this review here where they look at Sabretooth from the Wolverine vs. Sabretooth 2-pack, the X-Men Origins line, a Toys R Us exclusive. Now in the back of the box, there's this reference to the Backroad Brawl, so that might be the 2-pack's official's name, but I do defer to what's on the front of the package, not what's on the back and the top. So as far as I'm concerned, it is the Wolverine vs. Sabretooth 2-pack. Uh, pick this up for 13 bucks at Toys R Us. I will be reviewing the Wolverine separately, by the way. Although I'll tell you right now that I really bought it more for the Sabretooth. Um, wouldn't have picked up this pack at all if not for the fact it was the last one they had in stock and it was over in the clearance section instead of the usual aisle. Now, although 13 is a markdown, uh, neither Toys R Us nor Walmart ever seems to do like really proper clearances. Instead, they do like these smaller markdowns. And they never really just seem to get really low before they sell out or I don't know where the stuff goes. But um, this version of Sabretooth and like the classic comic look was only released in two packs. Uh, in the this two pack here as well as a two pack with Blob, which I wish I had picked up during the Toy Rocket sale. Blob's a launcher and that Sabretooth had uh, longer hair though. This one I wasn't so fond of because it has more of a glossy look to the costume. But, you know, I figured a bird in the hand is better than two in the bush, or... Yeah, I believe that's the expression, so... You know. Um, I'm gonna open this up. Hang on a second. Here's a better look at the figures in pack with the original diorama insert. As you can see, you know, they really did something nice here. I mean, it's a really cool looking display and does help sell the figures. I mean, this is the kind of really cool packaging that you would like to save if you did have the room or possibly even leave in pack. But as you'll notice, you're going to have to ruin most of this packaging when you try taking these figures out. Unless you can just cut these little rubber bands off. So, I'm um, not looking forward to that. Okay, so now we have both of them completely out of pack. Now, although the Wolverine does have his fair share of problems, which I'll discuss later, the Sabretooth looks pretty good and, you know, the articulation is serviceable. Uh, the one thing I just wish they had done differently, but they did this for most of the other line, is we have this really crappy ball joint where you have to spin it around so the line lines up with the way you want it to go. So right now it can kick forward, but then you'd have to turn the physical ball to get to kick out. They do this a lot, including on the Iron Man 2 line. I'm really not a fan of it, but it's better than the Marvel Universe line where they just have it one solid piece and it's like a physical ball, which does suck. But we do have five movement and all that. As you can see, the costume is slightly glossy, but it doesn't bug me as much as I thought it would. It still kind of annoys me a little bit, though. Sabretooth himself looks pretty decent. Uh, not too many paint errors. I don't like the fact that this is just so obviously a connected on piece. They should have done something to like put it more into his actual sculpt, but I can understand why they would opt for that route. Especially because this probably allowed them to put in all sorts of additional detail and paint work on it, which is always a good thing. Uh, height comparison time. If I can get his height back up. Wolf Sabretooth at his uh, full height is considerably taller than Wolverine, as it should be, obviously. Let me toss in the unmasked Wolverine real quick, so I have him on hand. So, this actually looks shorter than that version, but, you know, that's basically what you would expect, because Sabretooth is just this big hulking monster-like dude, and Wolverine's pretty short, he's like 5'3". Sabretooth, on the other hand, is six foot six, so there will be a pretty noticeable size difference. Um, one thing that I've pre neglected to mention in most of my previous reviews is that that little fancy sword that Wolverine comes with with all these packs, which I believe is the Muramasa blade. Yeah, this was the sword used to kill Sabretooth. It blocks regeneration, so. Just uh, thought I'd mention that, but um, otherwise, if you're not familiar with this character, Sabretooth does have power similar to Wolverine's in terms of regeneration ability and then enhanced senses, enhanced strength, and stuff like that. 
But unfortunately for Sabretooth, he's not the best at what he does. He is the second best, if at all. So yeah. Kind of sucks, but I mean, they'll probably bring the character back eventually. I think he was killed like two or three years ago. I didn't even know about this until I think a few months ago, but... That's um largely because I don't really keep up with comics at this point. Just more into the collectibles. So yeah, when you don't do that, you do get these little surprises now and again. But um, in terms of articulation, he's got a good deal as mentioned before, but there's some aspects of him which make him a little bit tough to pose, such as the fact that his head really doesn't go up all that much, so you can't get a really good crouching pose with his head looking up, which would have just been awesome. But the head does rotate, goes down a little bit, goes back up. Just can't go full up. I mean, imagine... Yeah, you can get it to go up a bit more, but it's physically rising up off the ball at this point, so... Probably not recommend, and even then you can't get to the full extension that I would want it. Uh, he has rotating forearms. You'll notice that it's a really cool concealed joint just because of the costume. Also, this thing doesn't come out into as much of a spike as in certain appearances, and this physical unit does kind of block the actual motion of the elbow here, depending on how it's positioned, but the elbows on a ball and socket or a ball joint, full range of motion. Shoulders also on a ball, but, you know, it doesn't have that extra oomph, so it can't go full range, but, you know, when you have this here, it's not as essential to have the extra point of rotation at the bicep. Uh, he has the upper torso joint. Goes forward a little bit. We should go a little bit more, and then goes back. In addition to going 360, but that's because he doesn't have a waist joint. Again, probably a better choice. The leg already mentioned with the hip here. Double jointed knee. And then we have a sort of a ball and socket here at the ankle. So, you know, he will be able to pose kind of easy for some stuff. Now, regrettably, he does not come with a little hole in the back. Like, they could have easily tossed something right behind the shoulder blades here, so you could use like a little stand or something, but... You know, he does stand kind of well on his own. It's just that it takes a bit of fiddling to get a good pose going on. I mean, you know, definitely a pretty cool figure. Let me just toss in one other figure for comparison's sake, and that would be the Juggernaut, or Sabretooth's tag team partner in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, whenever I'm using it. Uh, both characters were also in X-Men vs. Street Fighter. I paired them together a lot, so... Yeah. But, um, if you can find some version of this character... I probably would recommend picking him up. Uh, the blob version, which probably is the cooler one, has the longer haired look. And I think the costume's a lot less glossy. Plus he comes with a blob, which, you know, is automatically a pretty big selling point, although unfortunately that version of the blob doesn't have much articulation. It's designed more as a launcher gimmick than anything else, but uh, definitely something cool to pick up if your Toys R Us is still selling these. Might be a good idea to go out and just check, but um, until next time, folks, remember to be on the lookout for that Wolverine review. And I've already reviewed him, which you can check out if you want to, and he's also been reviewed 